unfortunately on the farm not all work on the farm is about the farm <laughs> yeah here's what we're uh, here's what we're into today don't that look like fun yeah we've got uh, some plumbing issues that uh, we've got to deal with or try to deal with I'm not much of a plumber leave my hat leave my hat up here just can't see with it on anyway we have a leak over there yeah you can hear it if you listen and then we have a sewer issue over here this is where I'm trying to go see that right there first attempt was horribly unsuccessful so we're moving on to our next possibility and this is what it looks like after Totally unsuccessful. That's the result. Rolled off the table, landed there where it's not supposed to be. <coughs> anyway, I've got bolt feed tonight, so I'm going to have to get the bin out anyway. So when I take the bin out, I'll move it further out than I usually do and see if I can get the tractor far enough over to get in here and get a hold of that bale. We'll lose a bit, but I'm just more worried about doing any damage trying to roll it up and pick it up out of here.
Well, I did manage to get the bail out. Thankfully, I guess. <laughs> Unfortunately, my camera didn't catch it. Let's go feed the cows. This time of year is always tough, figuring out pasture rotations this early part of spring because the grasses are they're coming on and they're growing, but they're just not growing real fast because you'll have three, four, or five days of, you know, 45, 50 degree mornings and then 70, 75 degree afternoons. And then you'll have three or four days of 34 degrees and barely 60 degrees for a high and no sunlight and it's just it's really hard to get a good rotation established in the first part of the spring we've looked at doing commercial fertilizers to try to get things that little extra early season pop but I, i'm not gonna lie to you that's expensive uh, it's very expensive worth it yeah if you time it right and get it in before good rain uh, yes, it can definitely be worth it. I still have two very large piles of uh, barn clean out. That's going to be a lot of uh, organic material, a lot of manure from the sheep manure uh, that has been composting over the last uh, four months, five months. I'm planning on getting that spread out on the uh, on the pastures as soon as I get a few dry days. Uh, our worst ones are on the north side of the house. There's a lot of sage grass, um, a lot of tough grasses to get the soil limed so we can get the pH balanced and then get fertilizer put on it to help because sage grasses and stuff like that, uh, broom sage and all that, mainly grows in poor soil. The goat weed is stupid in this part of the country in the area that we're in. So if we don't start spraying early for the goat weed and the thistles, then we've just about wasted our time. So unfortunately, that time is getting very, very close. Well, I can tell you right now, the uh, extra daylight after uh, daylight savings time, I know people complain about it a lot, but I look forward to it. The extra time at the end of the day, try to get some stuff done. I don't feel in uh, such a rush after I get home from work to try to get down and get started but it's just amazing how much faster you can get things done in the daylight
Well, tonight is uh, going to be one of those race against time. Yep, we have uh, the possibility of some uh, pretty strong showers and thunderstorms rolling in. So, uh, we're going to get down here. Teresa's working on supper. So, I'm going to try to get as much of the outside stuff done as I can. Get the cows fed. Get the rams fed. Mama's, uh, weaned mama's fed. And the hogs. Get all that outside done. The stuff that I usually do after we finish feeding everything else. So, I'm going to get down here and get it done while she's working on that. Let's go get the cows. the water tanks so that I'm going to see if I can get them back up here. Now let's see if we can encourage the cows to come to the feed that's in the trough waiting for them. all of the outside stuff fed uh, pigs have got their first round of feed rams have been fed cows have been fed even though as you saw they really didn't care much one way or the other I know you having trouble seeing me because it got dark fast we're trying to hurry and beat thunderstorms that are moving in our first tornado watches of the season on us right now looking for at the uh, future cast radar it's looking like we've got maybe an hour before I forgot a bucket hang on like I was saying looking at the future cast radar we've got maybe an hour maybe before stuff really starts falling apart the uh, one pin of the mamas and babies I don't know how they managed it but kind of Messed up one of the corners of the pin panels and wound up back with the goats. So hopefully we can get them sorted and separated back out before it kind of gets to be kind of yucky. I want to take just a moment once again to say thank you for each and every one of our regular viewers. We appreciate you very, very much. And we thank you and appreciate you being a part of our family and our farm. 